good morning good afternoon and good evening everyone so today i got galaxy note 20 ultra the exynos chipset while the users of the note 20 ultra must be missing the one ui 6 update on the mobile phone while the note 20 ultra will not get the one ui 6 update and will not get the android 14 but i have unlocked the bootloader and i have installed the volcano rom the ported rom on the note 20 ultra the exynos chipset this rom is not for the snapdragon devices so you can see that the galaxy note 20 ultra 5g the model number got changed after flashing the rom i have a dual sim mobile phone both ime numbers are present these things will get changed after the flashing the rom because this rom is taken from the s21 ultra the flagship mobile porting it for the note 20 ultra flagship mobile these things will get normal after flashing the stock firmware back on the note 20 ultra i would like to thanks to the developer who port this rom for the note 20 ultra 4g and 5g phone this is the one ui 6 the android 14 rom the build number you can see that this rom a name is volcano rom and the build date is 24th fab 2024 this is the stable like uh, you can use this rom for the daily use this rom is not having any lag the rom is working very smooth on the day note 20 ultra i really like the new control center coming with the one ui 6 and i am so happy that uh, finally i got this new control center on the galaxy note 20 ultra because the note 20 ultra is not getting one ui 6 we cannot get the new control center also neat and clean the widgets are looking so beautiful and uh, the blur control center is coming with the rom how to get this rom on the note 20 ultra you need to watch my another video that i will be bringing soon on my this channel so what you have to do you need to like the video and you need to subscribe my channel and click or tap the bell icon click or tap the select all thank you so much if i keep tap the wi-fi the small window will pop up and i can reconnect or connect the wi-fi from here and if i want to go for further i can tap the details and the i can do the things over here and one more thing if i tap the three dots here going to intelligent wi-fi we'll scroll down and here is the new feature coming with the one ui 6 the connectivity labs here i can check my mobile phone currently connected with which band and how long the connectivity was going on and all the things that related to the wi-fi you can find out here in the connectivity labs this feature is working perfectly with the one ui 6 and on the note 20 ultra so about the control center if you want to edit it you can tap the edit button over here you can edit the top side and the full side like if i tap the edit and i can uh, remove the widget that i do not want to have on my control center and i can add the widgets from the provided list so i have uh, logged in my gmail account and i can use the google play store perfectly all the applications that you can see on my mobile phone downloaded from the google play store and also i have logged in my a samsung account as well and the galaxy store was updated for the first time when it was open and i can freely download the application from the galaxy store and also from the google play store well the camera application is working but not totally working sometime the camera application get close uh, taking the picture only sometime not every time if uh, the camera application get close after taking a single picture you can clear the camera application from the recent menu and you can reopen the camera application for retaking the pictures about the video yes video is totally working fine no issue coming with the video recording we can record video in 8k and we can record the video in ultra high definition full high definition high definition modes are working perfectly with the camera and if i tap the 108 megapixel the 108 megapixel is working fine with the rom surprisingly the s pen is working with the rom well i am a flashaholic i usually i flash a customized rom on the mobile phone sometime rom comes without uh, s pen support but this rom is having a s pen support well i must say that uh, after flashing the rom and using it on the galaxy note 20 ultra you will definitely see that 
am I using a ported ROM or am I using a stock firm firmware updated ROM on the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra? Now, if I open the gallery application, the gallery application is coming, the Samsung gallery app with this ROM and the AI image is working perfectly with the ROM. Like if I keep tap the image, the image will get separated from the background. The background will automatically remove if I keep tap, keep tapping the picture. I can save this picture after removing the background. I can save as image, I can save as sticker, I can share it, I can copy, I can do the editing things and I can share this as a picture as a sticker in the chat, a social media chatting platform. And also the uh, other features like portrait effects and remastered is also provided with the ROM and working perfectly with the ROM. The in-display fingerprint scanner is working, the face unlocking is working and both have a good speed unlocking the mobile phone so this is an amazing feature coming with the one ui 6 like if i keep tap the lock screen the lock screen will show the pattern or whatever option you have selected after unlocking the lock screen i can actually customize the lock screen directly from the from, uh, from here like i do not have to go to particular settings section to change or to have customize i can select the clock there are different clock fees provided with the ROM One UI 6 whatever you like you can set it you can uh, change the size of the clock you can change the fonts of the clock like it is providing these things in the customization even you can uh, change the wallpaper you can change the effects on the lock screen wallpaper these features are coming with the One UI 6 only and uh, perfectly working on the One UI 6 having it on the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. Well, this ROM is not coming default device certified. So we have to root the ROM and we have to uh, flash the play integrity fix file to make the device certified. Yes, after rooting the ROM, the safety net will get passed also. And uh, yes, we will have some issues with the banking application. Like uh, for example, I installed this banking application. It was not running before. It was having an issue. What I did, I cleared this uh, particular banking application from the recent menu. Then I went to open the badges application, tap the settings, then I went down and I turn on the Zygis. Then I turn on the enforced deny list and then I tap the configure deny list and I select the particular banking application from the provided list. Then I went back to my screen and after that, I got no issue using the banking application on the rooted mobile phone. So the ROM got rooted easily and perfectly. And the safety net will show pass also. The Samsung dialer is coming with the ROM. The Samsung messaging application is coming with the ROM because this is the Samsung UI and the Google application. If, uh, if you want to add any particular Google application, you can download it straight away from the Google Play Store. The Bluetooth connectivity is working. The Samsung DAX is working. The calling, outgoing calls, incoming calls, the incoming SMS, outgoing SMS is working. And uh, about the Bluetooth connectivity, the Bluetooth connectivity is happening, but uh, after restarting the mobile phone, the um, Bluetooth is not reconnecting automatically. For that, we have to flash a module name bluetooth library patcher what it will do it will uh, reconnect the all the wireless connectivity automatically after restarting the mobile and the bluetooth connectivity or the wireless connectivity will get more stable after flashing the bluetooth library patcher definitely go for this rom those who want to update the mobile phone from one ui one ui 5.1 to one ui 6 because this rom is looking like you are using a stock firmware on the galaxy note 20 ultra i might be missing some features of the one ui 6 on the note 20 ultra but believe me this rom is mostly stable rom you can use it for the daily use and uh, the features that coming with the one ui 6 you can check it out after flashing the rom so take a good care of yourself wait for the next video until then goodbye